Turn it around so he can show us. Oh. You're on. Hi, we've um, arrived in the Gouda in the Netherlands finally. It's uh, <clears throat> Friday, night. Friday night, about 9.30. Quarter to 10, yeah. And uh, this is the main square and we're going to be staying just off of it. I'll show you. Lots of nightlife <laughs> starting to happen. All the bars and cafes. And this is the beautiful Stadthouse. Oh! The, the um, City Hall. So, and we'll be exploring this more. You see, tomorrow one big church. There are several other churches hiding in behind the main square here. You can hear the buzz of the voices, people talking. Anyways, we will add to this as we go along. So it's uh, Saturday, uh, July fifteenth, sixteenth, somewhere in there. Um, anyways, we're in the town of Gouda, so as you can see it above the van that's sitting beside me, there's the city hall, front doors, and here we're coming into the market. And uh, what we'll do is give you a flavor of what the market is with a series of videos and stills. So here's the city hall. It's the house. Probably one of my favorites, anyways. Uh, a lot of the original features in the we done the shutters, with the uh, colors of the, the, town, the carving. Really beautiful in Christmas at Christmas time. See if I can find some of our pictures from being here at Christmas. Too. Anyways, fruits and vegetables, as you can see all the way around the city square, we've got these cafes that extend out into the, into the square, and uh, people are sitting at them, enjoying a cup of coffee or beer or a tomato, um, breakfast, all kinds of things actually happen. So here's some flower shop. I think we'll come back here on Wednesday, uh, which I think is when they actually do it, but uh, this is the cheese market, 1668, and we'll go inside and show you uh, what that looks like. And then they actually have the cheese weighing and selling uh, on the square itself. You'll see uh, people moving the cheese around, etc. So that'll be in place of all of these stands or the, uh, places where they're selling. See huge wheels of cheese, just like what we've got there, right over there. So here's something you want to see. So here's something else that you won't see in North America. Um, so this is a uh, fish stand. And look at how many people are here getting fish. Everybody. There's another stand next door. And farmer cheese. All kinds of cheeses again. And we've got eggs at the stand as well. Look at the old cheese that are here. These are the good ones. As long as they don't smell too bad. That's my preference. Oh, and then a number of 
other vegetables, fruit vegetables, etc. <laughs> Bike repairs oh, well, well, shop. Or parts. Or you can buy one. Uh, right, bike to repair. To We're repairing the bike as we speak. Jewelry. Yeah. Bike carts. Yeah. Look at all the carts. Here's another European thing. So the car they on the plane. Bikes, we are ready to go. And the rental was 20 euros a day. So we've got them for five days, $100. Really excellent. And here we are, Trish. And parking, of course, is provided everywhere for bikes in the Netherlands. So hopefully, we'll be able to take you along on a number of uh, trips. Uh, we'll also be uh, going on to the trains with the bikes. So it'll be interesting to see exactly what happens. Like so, anyhow. Until uh, later. One. All right, so it's Saturday afternoon and we are going to go out exploring. So we're both on our bikes and uh, we'll see what Kauda looks like from a bike. Um, don't know exactly where we're going, but uh, we're going to find out. Maybe just show what your Dutch bike looks like. Sure. Um, it's pretty straightforward from what I can tell. Anyways, the, uh, the battery pack goes right underneath the uh, um, container at the back. This is the piece that I've always liked about Dutch bikes. So they always have an integrated locking system in this particular case. locking system also works uh, same lock or same key lock works on the actual uh, battery itself so the battery is sitting back there there's the lock and it's just a question of um, uh, pulling it down so that the wheel can't turn anymore um, locks totally integrated uh, controls are pretty straightforward um, when you turn it on uh, it's on fifth setting and then you can bring it down from there um, so you have long long uh, distances um, and uh, you can also turn the light on from here as well uh, integrated speeds a bell you have the same kind of thing you've got a bell integrated and speed control on you have a uh, gears I have gears here Okay. And then my thing, <coughs> my assist here, okay. electrical assist. So they're pretty straightforward. Um, I, I think I like the uh, design of Canadian batteries. Uh, we can spend a little bit of time looking at our, uh, our own uh, bikes when we get home as well. But anyways, uh, let's go see what we can find uh, in terms of exploring Canada. Community, another part of Kauda itself. This, I think, is another school. This one might be a, a public school. 
again, it looks like a elementary. So, for those who haven't seen this before, um, you can see there's a vehicle that's moving over the top of the, uh, the grass over there. That's a boat. Um, and here's another boat in behind the sign here. Uh, so this is a dike that you're seeing here. So built up land mass. We're going to go over the bridge in just a second. Um, but there's water that's actually being contained here on this side. But there's also a large body of water, so some kind of canal. Um, that's in behind the dike itself. So this is typical. Uh, um, most dikes are maybe two, three meters uh, in height, um, and they're about the the tallest um, uh, hills that you actually have to go over, either on foot or on bike. But uh, let, let's just go over, uh, so I'll show you what that looks like. So it's fairly large. So I think this is the ISIL. So if it, this is a river, and this is just an offshoot of the river itself. So they've got a dike just holding the, the water. Uh, so there's also a turbine. So they're generating electricity right alongside the river. You can see that there there is a road that is sitting on the top of the dike. Very common in our streets, anyway. Uh, have roads on the top so it, uh, it looks like it might storm, so I don't know if you're seeing these clouds. Um, so we're being a little bit vigilant in terms of getting across some other attractions that I've never seen before. Outdoor racing model cars. So we got rained out. Um, it was one of the uh, the challenges of living in uh, the Netherlands or uh, riding bikes in the Netherlands. Um, you never can tell when it's going to rain. And uh, we made it back to um, our uh, living quarters, but uh, it, it was a little exciting. Um, a little wet. Yeah. Here. So. Wind is probably the worst thing that you can come across when you're biking in Holland. Uh, now that we've got e-bikes, it uh, should be a lot better. But our last uh, ex adventure when we were on our biking tour in, what, 2018? 2015. 15, um, we were done in, at least on one day, by the wind coming across uh, uh, one of the um, the dikes. <clears throat> we, we're in a very interesting area and we'll hopefully uh, continue to explore uh, maybe tomorrow or so um, yeah. uh, as to exactly what's around here. Looks like there's some wilderness areas that uh, I haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to close off? Yeah. Anyways, that's uh, Adventures in Gouda so far. Um, see you on the next day. So you can hear the Caroleon in the background. But this is our dining space for this evening. So we're starting with, of course, a dark beer. And I have no idea exactly what it is, but it's drop. Um, so we'll see how good that is, and then we'll go from there to the menu. It's also like kind of so big. Yeah, exactly. Um, so um, we're in the restaurant here, and just to give you a flavor of sort of what it's like. Um, restaurants here at, <coughs> have their interior, but most of the space, at least during the spring, summer, and fall, well, even into the winter, you know, when we're in Eskede, uh, we're willing to the outdoor uh, and and they put up heaters and all that. Oh, well, there's a heater in, in the corner of every one of these tents, um, coverings anyways. Um, so it's it's all built around being outside and being able to actually see what's going on. Um, and then you've got 
the uh, stud house right in the background here. And the Carleon plays and the uh, cheese market is right over there. It's just absolutely a wonderful uh, way to experience uh, supper. Anything else to say? No, just that we're just enjoying ourselves in this wonderful place. So at the end of our meal, we're heading off. Uh, here's the town centrum that was completely filled with the market earlier in the day. You can see that it's it's uh, had cleaning and uh, there's very few people remaining uh, except those who were in the restaurants and uh, <clears throat> the pubs etc that are around the square and so here you now you can see the the outline of the Stutthaus, the um, city hall, if you want, um, and uh, the timepieces. Oh, the thing's going to go again. Just a second. <coughs> so let's we'll take a look the at little, it. We'll see the little puppets come out. Will they? Yeah. It opens up and someone comes out. And... Not sure, Trish. Bows. So this is out, outside of town, just by a little bit. Uh, we got very quickly out into a uh, rural kind of setting. But number of sheep in these areas. Notice how the, uh, the farm fields are interspersed with the, uh, the houses and the canals. There's some sheep underneath the trees there as well. I don't know if you can see them. Should be able to. There's one right there. Trying to eat the willow trees, the leaves off the willow tree. Not sure that that's a great idea. And here are some other patches. The water is right up to the edge of the, the uh, bike paths here, though. So this is the edge of Gouda Gemeente, or the community of Gouda, and uh, there's a couple of bridges under um, uh, underneath some major highways. Uh, I think this is A something or other, A12 or something like that. Um, again, you can still see the water is right up to the edge of the area. And uh, it's just lovely, lovely, lovely setting. Interspersed with rural, residential. Uh, there's a communication tower right there as well. So you see the the integration of uh, newer technologies, etc. I'm just in love with this country. <laughs> 